squeaky. Okay, I have another project drying in the sidelines here, but while that's doing that, I wanted to do a different video. Um, I want to experiment and see if my bullet journals um, can hold up to... I want to do a, a, an acrylic pour on this one because this is the book I'll be using um, to track um, mixes, what I'm doing, um, colors I used, um, which brands, in which colors of paints, that kind of thing. Um, whether I did a video on it, if so, what it was called, or what um, uh, playlist I put it under, that kind of thing. Because I always think I'm going to remember, and then I don't, and it's terrible, but stuff, you know, I actually need to know or want to know so I can tweak and see and experiment later down the road. Um, so I'm going to do an acrylic pour on that one. And I'm going to use the elastic here. These books, these uh, little journals I found, um, actually the mister found them when we were at Walmart in the clearance section. Um, I think the dot, the dot grid ones were two bucks or so, and then there was a lined one. Um, for some reason it was five dollars. At any rate, um, I hadn't used the, the dot grid journals before and thought I'd give them a go and oh my god I love them. I will probably never do a lined one again. Um, but I love graft paper anyway. But uh, the, the dot grid gives you way more freedom to do all sorts of stuff so I'm digging that. But this is the one I'm going to use for my acrylic flows and I think the best way to do that, let's see. I'm going to have to um, play with the noise, so I'll, I'll try not to talk while I'm doing loud paper. So hang on. Okay, that should hold us over. Okay. That's for something else. It's my day-to-day -day bullet journal that I'm still working in and setting up, and it's getting there finally. But this one, what I want to do, wow, a big wind, not cool. This one, yeah, I think I want to go this way with it. Wow, there's a lot of room there. Hmm. And then I want to fold, I want to make like a bag, but out of wax paper, because I don't want to have to deal with too much of that later. So I want to do like so, I think. And this will either be an epic experiment, or it will fail hopelessly, but that is the fun in experiments. All that's covered there. Ah. And I apologize if you can hear all the noise from down the street. They are still working in the neighbor's yard. Huge, huge renovation. pump trucks for concrete and cinder block wall that's way too tall. Okay, what I'm going to do for this edge, because I don't mind if some drips down the outside edge here, but what I want to do is make sure it doesn't get on the paper in the book itself. So, I'm going to do a weird little tuck fold thing here. I think if I just glue that to itself, it should be fine, maybe. Maybe. We shall see. Stick that one to itself there. 
should be okay. Alright, the other question is, I don't know if I'll need to rough this up or not. The cover feels almost like leather, but it's probably just a pleather. It feels nice, the, the whole journal feels great. The size is amazing, the paper's good. Um, let's see, let me do the other book as well. So instead, that one's going to be um, an acrylic pour. And let's see, that's marking my today, so I don't need that just now. Um, let's see, that won't need to be in there just now either. And probably not that one. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm going to use this to hold all that together again. Or not. Because my fingers work today. Alright, I'm going to tuck its tail back up under here. And do the same thing. And now that I think about it, you know, I'm pretty sure I need to splurge a little bit for stuff like this and get that um that wax paper, the press and seal stuff or whatever. Because I bet you could just do that, fold it over, stick it to itself and make like a, a an envelope thing, maybe. See, this one I'm going to do differently, because why the hell not? And this one we're not going to pour, so I'm not as worried about how flat it is or any of that. And I'll show you why. should be good as long as I don't like move it this direction or that direction I guess okay I don't think we need to rough it up for this one either let's see which one do we want to start with this one I'm going to do a bark effect um, like tree bark um, oh, I did it to my kitchen cabinets um, the entire kitchen was a $15 project um, just for the cabinet doors, so that was cool. Um, I really want to pour though. No, that's going to be a mess, I'm going to have to leave it. Okay, let's start this one because it's going to be a two part um, thing. Alrighty, actually, I don't know if I want that one or the other. Let me do this. That should be dry, yeah. Okay. For the first one, I'm using Elma School Glue. It's not the glue all, it's just the school glue. And we just need a little bit. It's probably way too much. Now, on top of that, we're going to get a paintbrush. And we're going to coat and get it on there and then we'll, we'll worry about getting it even because it, it takes a, a little bit of work to get it going. What we're going to do is use the school glue here as a crackle effect type medium because what we're going to do as it starts to dry, oh that had fuzzy. As it starts to dry, um, we're going to paint with acrylic paint over the top of it, very gently. And as the glue dries, it's going to pull the paint apart. And it's an old, old technique, long before there was, you know, crackle paste or any of that, and I still love it. Okay, now since we have a black book underneath, what I want to do, I think, I'm going to use white. I think. So we've got white and the black should show through those cracks. Okay, make sure we've got a reasonably even coat right there. Now this book isn't like 
going to travel too terribly far, I don't think. It's, I don't, like, leave the house a lot when I do. I generally don't take this one with me. Um, I do need to start doing that with a book, but I'll need to make a smaller one, I think. Because most of the time I just use my phone for whatever's clever. Okay, I'm going to rinse that out real quick here in my water. I'm going to let that dry. It'll be fine on its own. Uh, let's see, this is a new one. I don't know if it has a... No, nope, I don't have a thing. Sweet. Okay, um, I'm just using... She do you want that color or a different color? Oh! Because I have some neons now, which might look amazing with the black showing through. Crap. It's going to do black and white because that's cool. But I can do this in black and white. Oh, conundrums. Oh, black and green. Let's see. Let's see, I'm really torn. I also have a neon yellow, but I don't think I want it that. Fluorescent pink, fluorescent green, fluorescent orange yellow. Oh, crap. I think I'm going to go fluorescent pink. For some reason, I've been using that a lot lately. I don't know why. Normally, I would not. Oh, actually, let's use that again. And... Make sure our brush is all washed out, or rinsed out, it's not washed obviously. We want to keep an eye on this, um, we want to catch it between wet and dry. It won't be, it'll be somewhere in the middle, it won't be completely dry, it'll still be tacky, but um, it'll start getting clear, um, and that's when we paint it again and we'll keep an eye on that let's see let's do like so yep okay now this one i'm going to do an acrylic pour on and i think i want to do a puddle pour so bits of color here and there um, i already made some uh, pouring medium up of elmo's glue and water and we can thin that if we need to but first i need to get some more water i'll be right back Okay, that should help. Let me move this out of the way. There's so much stuff today. All the stuff. It's crazy. Okay. Now, this I believe I want to do just in black and white. I think. Because black, white, and this would be amazing. Good lord, I'm hopeless. Hopeless. No, I don't really want to make up another thing. Well, maybe I could. Yes. Screw it. Okay. Put some glue in my cup. Now usually I do uh, three parts glue to one part water. We're winging it on the smaller amounts because I haven't done one with just a little bit of glue before. Or pouring medium. Um, and this does all right um, if you seal it really, 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 really well. Oh. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Okay, so we've got, I want black, I want white, and pink, because why not? No, I'm not impressed with the way these come out of their jars. It's just so messy. Okay. There we go. And this is the, um, let's see, the Fine Touch, it's called. Um, I guess it's the Oklahoma, oh, Oklahoma. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading the thing. They're from Oklahoma City. So I'm guessing it's the Hobby Lobby brand. Um, it's just black acrylic. I'm not near as a big a fan of it as I am of the Master's Touch uh, paints. 
um, I tend to be able to do a lot more with them and uh, I prefer the squeezy tube than the great big tub. And that's going to need thinning down. I know some of you hate to see the uh, stirring part and some of you love to see the stirring part so I've decided some videos will be fast forwarded or ready to go and some will just you can skip ahead in the video yourself to see where the next cool part is. But that way everybody's happy. Oh, I won't do that thin or I'm not. Maybe a hair. We'll see. Now I'm not going to use silicone for this one. Normally I do to get all the cells and stuff. Um, I just want to do a basic puddle pour. Okay. So, black. This will be the white. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of the consistency, I guess, of those. And the way they just do not want to come out of those, those jars. And they're supposed to be, what, easy pour or something? Yeah, easy pour top. They don't pour out of there. Okay, that's also going to need thinning. I find that the um, blacks and the white paints usually need more help to get to the right consistency. And what I like to do is get them started, let them sit. Oh yeah, that's totally not going to work. Let it sit, and then we'll come back and play with it some more. Okay. And I really needed a bigger stick for this one. I'm going to add a little more water before I add paint. Okay, now the trick is to keep an eye on this at the same time. See how it's starting to clear? Mm. Alright, now I'm going to, well, now I'll get paint ready. And that one. Okay, we're going to let those sit, and I'm going to do this, and hopefully we've got everything in frame that you'll be able to see what that's doing as it's doing it while we're doing this. Hopefully. Okay, let's see here. Alright, we're going to make such a mess. Glorious mess. Okay. Now, what I want to do... Peel off a plastic from earlier. Mm, that should do us. If not, we'll add some more. Okay, our brush is damp. And we want to very gently and very lightly just drag it across the top of the glue. But we want to make sure we get full coverage of paint. Now, I'm not worried about the edge or I would have taped it off um, all the way around, especially on the spine. But yeah, this is just an experiment to see if it will work on my bullet journals. Because um, if so, I can do that on uh, journal covers and whatnot later. Which will be fun. So, 
So, how are you? What's new with you? <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't have any news really. It's usually better that way around here we've discovered. The whole no news is good news thing. For the most part. Okay. Oh, it's a bit thin right there. Of course, the sun is where we want it to be, but also in the way. So, um, I don't know how much that you're going to be able to see without it glaring anyway. Worst painter ever, maybe. Yeah, see, look, I did it again. Okay. One more. There we go. Alright. Now, what I am going to do is stick this, let's see, here. Maybe let's play with this a little bit here. Like so. I'm going to move that so you can see as it dries what it, what it does there. Alright, I'm going to be brave and stick it on the corner of my table. That, for the now, can go there and that. Well, I think it's there. Okay. This is going to make one hell of a mess. And I'm thinking I should get my... Yeah, I should. Huh? Dang it. Um, what do I do with it? Oh, it's up there. Alright, this is just going to take up way too much space, I think. But i got to give it a go. Okay, that'll all move in a minute. This I can move in a minute. Oh. That's my other project that's drying. Okay, that should be alright as long as I'm careful. Alright, I want to... Let's see. Now the center should be alright. I know some of this is still drying from the other day. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. I think that white's still too thick. Oh yeah, that's terrible. does help to add water just a little at a time though. Um, I'm notorious for doing a whole bunch all at once and it's so much more work that way. Nope. White paint is so thick and this is a uh, titanium white so definitely thick. I'm thinking I should have made it gold as well. Oh well. Okay, it's got air bubbles. On pink or fluorescent pink. Well, now it's thickened up as well while it's sitting. That's okay. So I don't know what I did with my chopstick. Usually I use a chopstick for this cup because it's long and skinny and I can see without my hand having to be all the way down in there. And we are not going to need all of this paint. Yeah, I need to get smaller cups for smaller projects, for sure. Okay. 
Uh, it's not going, oh, it's starting to uh, two or three places, so keep your eye on this as well. Oh my goodness. Alright, shall we make a mess? Hey, there we go. Okay. Double check that our pages are covered. Yep, it should be alright. I feel like I need to prop it up this way. Maybe. I'm not sure on what, however. Let's see. Leafa. Maybe a maybe a paint lid. No. Peanut butter jar lid. Maybe. Well, that might be too far. I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, let us begin, shall we? Well, let's start with one. That's still too thick, I think. Oh my god, yes it is. Ugh. get in a rush because I get so excited to make a mess. Mm, it's still way too thick. Better than that though. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just get that all over here, I guess. Maybe that'll help it move too. I've noticed with any of the pores, if you're a uh, Whatever you're pouring on is wet, either with paint or a little water or whatever, pouring medium. Um, it helps your paint to move without it just rolling the top under itself. Okay, let's see how that does. Humbug. Alright, let's try this again. Stay. That's still too thick. Yep. Dang it. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. better. Okay, let's see. That's so much pain on there. That's ridiculous. Alright, let's save that for something else. And one more in the black in the center. Because why not? Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Okay, never, 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 never get in a rush and not thin out your, your pore medium. Like a burr. There are so many bubbles in that, that is ridiculous. So many bubbles. Okay, I think what we need to do though, is something with this. Like. Make sure our edges are all cleaned up like we normally do. Now it should be good. 
good. Mm -mm. Should be good. See the way that's that's fanning out? It looks like there's too much water. But the um, consistency of it was still too thick. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm going to have to experiment with that a little bit. Okay. I don't know if this is dry enough here. The reason I've gone to using the plastic tote lids is it's easier to peel these off when they're dry. When they're dry. I don't know if this one is completely... No, and then they're all still squidgy. Anyhow, you peel those off when they're dry, and they make their own cool art. I'm going to make some jewelry or something out of them one of these days, I think. Okay, I wasn't going to use silicone, which I haven't, but I'm thinking I still need to use a torch for air bubbles because I don't like that. So we get the old trusty little handheld here. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pop all that nonsense. My goodness. Delicious. This one, I see you. That's a couple there too. I've not really done any puddle pours before, so I'm not a fan of them at the moment. <laughs> I like when other people do them, they look amazing, but um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Okay, let's check on our other. Oh, sweet, see it's starting to pull away. Um, yeah, starting to pull away. Alright, what I'm going to do um, is turn the camera off, leave everything where it is right now, except for the paints here. Um, I will need to do something with those, but um, I'm going to leave these where they're at. I will come back and check in on them with you um, maybe an hour or so. Um, that should be about done by then. Um, yeah, so I will be back in a snap. Okay, love you, bye! Hey guys, so I thought I'd jump in with my next bad plan, which I'm not prepared for because it was last minute, but I put the uh, black, white, and fluorescent pink um, I put some silicone in the black and the fluorescent pink and thought I would do the inside of a cover that I plan on using for um, a journal just to use this up and see what's going on with it. I did thin it out a little bit more, um, not a lot, but a little. And like I said, I added... Um, silicone to the black and the, um, oh, I think we want to swipe this, I don't think we want to uh, drip all of it, it's going to take way too long and there's not quite enough paint for that. Ah. Okay, I'm going to use that cup, I have an extra plastic piece over there, um, let's swipe with that one, maybe. I've not really played with swipes, like, for an actual finishing, so I don't know if I want to do that or not, but, no, oh, now I'm just mixing it. Good lord, what a mess. Yeah, I think I need to change my uh, channel name to what not to do. <gasps> oh my god. Crap. And to make it worse, I just dribbled. Oh, I'm going to do it again. I just dribbled in that. 
Okay, don't do any last minute projects if you're not set up for space or something to do with that. Because, oh my gosh. Alright, let me uh, grab some bum wipes here. Okay. Now, what I do want to do, ugh, sticky. Let's hit this up some, pop some of those bubbles, and then I'm going to set it up so it all drips to one side. I think. And it will either work or it won't. But I am going to move it away from these other projects, so we don't have to worry about that again. Alright, I think I'll do it that direction. Okay, there we go. Okay, so out of that mess, we got extra blobs here. Mm. Oh, goodness. Happen if we move that a little. I like to move things after they've sat just to uh, change shape slightly. I should have pulled off more of this white this direction, I think. It's like a weird alien. That's cool. Yay! I love this. Whatever's going on there. All these bubbles here. I don't know if we should take a straw and blow in it or not. Yep, I think I will. Just a little bit. This is doing awesome. Um, wait, I don't know what I've done with my straws. There's one. Here's one that's just for blowing. Oh, with paint on both ends, that's amazing. Oh. Like this. I don't want to do that all over the no, just a walk away. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Especially since I just got paint there. Okay, I'm gonna walk away. I will come back and we'll see where it's at. Uh, there's one thing I'm exceptionally good at, it is making a mess of all variety. For sure. Okay, I'm gonna walk away. I'll see you in a bit. Hello, sweeties. Okay, we're back to our mess. This is going to be wet for ages, but I do need to move this whole space. Uh, probably over there. I did want to check in and show you this. I did stick my finger in it, try and move that paint, um, but dinged it. Uh, for the most part, it is in fact dry. I'm going to give it another day, probably, and then I will hit it with some, probably some semi-gloss varnish uh, spray. Uh, but that is my, um, it, it reminds me of a tree bark, um, as, like a stringy, uh, what do you call those? A, a stringy bark, I guess, uh, from back home, or paper bark trees that, that tear off in big, big shreds like this, but they start doing this first. Um, but that's how you do that with Elmer's glue. 
Um, yeah, and it's it's good. Uh, we made a little bit of a mess here. I'm not too worried about it. And yeah, we should probably take that off, but I didn't, and I'm not worried about it. But yeah, it looks like it's going to hold up just fine. So, there's the tree bark looking one with Elmer's glue, with the crackle effect, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this mess here is gorgeous and fabulous and so gooey. Like, yeah, I'm going to have to um, play with it a little bit, move the, the uh, plastic and add a new plastic, so that should be interesting. Um, but I should be able to just pull that one out and just add a sheet of in between. Excuse me, sir, puppy. No, no, no. No, no, no. Thank you. No, this is your chewy. This is mine. This is mine. It's chewy. Chewy. Okay. Um, Alright, so I'm going to move this and... Yeah, that's about it for uh, my bullet journal cord covers and effects. And I think it went... Well, it was a mess, but I think it, it turned out okay. I'm, I'm alright with them. I'm not sure about this color on the black, because um, it is far more transparent than I had hoped. Um, this came out good, but it's not dry yet either, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, other than that, I am happy with it. So, I will let you be, and I will catch you in my next video. Okay, love you, bye-bye!